before we leave for lunch. Uh, now the real session starts. Now we are going to start the, the actual sessions. The formal inauguration is over. Uh, the first thing that we are going to do now is uh, get to know each other. We, we are from 30 different countries. Uh, this is truly an international uh, uh, event. The most important thing is you are going to learn uh, many things. And in addition to that, you're going to also have many new friends and you're going to explore what the other guy is doing. So that's another important thing. Networking is another important thing of this, uh, this school. So to start with, uh, let's have a brief introduction of each one of us. Just tell your name, your country, and your background briefly about one to two minutes, not more than that. So let me just start with myself so that it gives you an idea. My name is Ashok Ganeshan. I'm uh, working for IAEA as a knowledge management specialist. I have about 30 years of experience in the nuclear industry. Uh, it's mostly working in nuclear power plants in operations, maintenance, engineering, and a little bit of commissioning. And I also worked in international organizations for developing um, safe and reliable operations in the form of documents, peer reviews, technical support missions. Uh, and I'm from basically from India. Yeah. Uh, I am Iyad Khtishat uh, from Jordan Atomic Energy Commission. I am director, thank you. I am director of Nuclear Safety Directorate. Uh, I uh, was the ex director. Uh, I was the ex director of the nuclear safety and security at the regulatory body in Jordan. Also, uh, I am a member of uh, nuclear uh, safety standards uh, committee at IAEA, and also I am one of the mem member of the core team for the SMR IAEA SMR group. Yes, positive. Thank you. My name is Abdel Ghadir Mohammed. Abdel Ghadir Mohammed. I'm from Sudan. I'm a director of uh, planning section for the owner operator in Sudan. We, we have a nuclear power program in case one. Uh, I work in a teaching field for three, for three years of my experience. And the rest of my experience in the uh, Ministry of Electricity as a as a, as a planning engineer and the rest on uh, section, head section of planning and contracts engineer now. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Antonina Kuzmina, and I work in technical support organization of Russian regu regulatory body. So the main responsibilities is mostly education and training activities. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Samuel. Um, I'm from China originally. Uh, now I'm in the uh, uh, IEA, Nuclear Engineering Department, Nuclear Power Section. My education background is nuclear engineering from University of Cambridge. Uh, nice, to, nice to meet you all. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm Usika Lumujisola. I'm from Nigeria. I'm in teaching. I teach nuclear and particle physics, and we am glad to be here. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Hamdi Hassan. I'm working in Egyptian Nuclear and Radiological Laboratory Authority. I'm a member in the Central Administration for Inspection and Enforcement Unit. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ayman Abardini and I'm from Egyptian Nuclear and Radiological Regulatory Authority and I'm working as a lecture assistant and also I belong to review and assessment sector. Thank you. Okay, hi everybody, uh, my name is Marwa from Egypt. Uh, I work as a physics lab uh, engineer in a university called uh, the Whale City. Hello, Alexander Kolokol, Russia, Moscow, Russian Research Center, Kurchatov Institute, working as a project manager. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Richard Brown from the UK. Um, I currently work for the UK Atomic Energy Authority, although um, I'm currently seconded to the Eurofusion Consortium and working on the design of the first demonstration uh, fusion power plant. Um, I'm shortly on my way to work uh, at the ITER project in maintenance management, which was alluded to in the uh, earlier presentation. Thank you. 
Hello, my name is Edi Sugianto. I'm from Indonesia. I work in National Nuclear, Nuclear Energy Agency. Uh, I work as operator in Research Reactor. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Bran Nyawinda from Kenya. I work with the Kenya Nuclear Electricity Board. I do nuclear economics and energy planning. Hello, everyone. My name is Ikuya. I'm from Ghana. I'm a lawyer by profession, and I work with Ghana Atomic Energy Commission as a legal officer. Hi, everyone. My name is FNG Emmanuel. I work with the Nigeria Atomic Energy Commission, Department of Manpower Training and Capacity Development. My area of specialization is uh, nuclear power plant engineering. Thank you. Uh, hey, uh, my name is Nino Slavuisic, uh, originally Macedon, uh, obtained a bachelor and master's in nuclear engineering, currently operating as a safety engineer in the Evian Group, Austria. Hello, everyone. My name is Rumke Ayoemoru. I'm a colleague of Emmanuel. I also work at the Nigeria Atomic Energy Commission in the nuclear power plant development department. We're working on planning the nuclear power plant project for Nigeria. And I'm presently doing my PhD at um, Northwest University in South Africa. I'm working on nuclear. My doctorate is on nuclear engineering. Thank you. Hello. My name is Jonas Flore. I'm from Romania um, at the Institute for Nuclear Research, where I have been working since 2012 at the radioactive waste treatment and conditioning plant. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Saul. I'm from Brazil. I am an electrical engineer, and I work for nuclear industry in Brazil. Good afternoon. My name is Nixon Paul Pereparan. I am working in the International Atomic Energy Agency. And I will explain more about my role in the afternoon because I am serving as the main system administrator of CLP for net the platform which you already know. And I will explain more about it in the afternoon during my session. Thank you. Rafael Martincic, and I'm coming from the country you will be next visiting next week. Which one? Slovenia. Slovenia. I uh, used to be tired, now I am retired. <laughs> and uh, I was working at the IAEA at some point. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Maurice Marshall. I'm from South Africa. I work at NEXA, this the South African uh, Nuclear Energy Corporation. I work as a scientist. My background is physics. Hello, and my name is Guadalupe Boado. I'm from Argentina. I'm a radiation protection technician, and I'm following now an environmental management degree. I work in the National Atomic Energy Commission in the international organization sections, which is the national liaison office to the IAEA. Hello, my name is Agustin Claret. I am also from Argentina, and I also work in the National Atomic Energy Commission. Um, I hope you can all excuse me. I don't have a background in uh, engineering or physicist. I'm a social sciences uh, bachelor. Um, but I'm also very excited to be here. I'm happy to meet you all. Hello, everyone. My name is Lucas Purlano. I came from Argentina also, with him. and I also work in the National Atomic Energy Commission, but on the nuclear fuel cycle management. And uh, I'm working into a CRP project from IAEA uh, related with accident tolerant fuels nowadays, and more of the part of the economic involvement of the fuels. Thank you. Hello, um, my name is Mohamed Karol Arif Mustafa. <clears throat> I'm from Malaysia, working at Malaysia Nuclear Agency as a research officer for Rector Physics and uh, Rector Physics and Nuclear Physics Session. Thank you. Hello, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and very good afternoon, I think. How are you? <laughs> uh, okay, my name is Naim Shawki bin Hamza. Uh, I'm from Malaysia Nuclear Agency. 
a research institute. Uh, so I'm working as a research officer there. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Fahana Kosar. I am from Pakistan. I am working in Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission as system analyst. We work on uh, financial management, financial planning, environmental analysis for applied systems in nuclear power plants. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Danny Brianto. I'm from Canada. I'm working for Canadian Nuclear Laboratories uh, as a technical planner. And my specialty is decommissioning uh, and waste management. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Dinara Abbasova. I came from Azerbaijan, Institute of Radiation Problems, and I'm associate member of ICTP. Very good afternoon to you all. My name is Simbarashi Mangena. I'm from Zimbabwe. You can call me Simba. My background is uh, instrumentation engineering. I work for the Radiation Protection Authority of Zimbabwe. And recently, I've just completed my master's in nuclear engineering. My specialty is thermal hydraulics. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Twes Alex. I'm from Uganda. And I work with the Ministry of Energy and a department that is responsible for promotion and developing of a nuclear power program for Uganda. And I work there as a nuclear safety officer. I'm happy to be here. Looking forward for a successful training with you all. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I'm Alina Konstantin from Institute uh, of, uh, of Nuclear Research, Romania. And uh, my current activities are related to uh, radioactive waste management issues. Hello, my name is Andrei Goicha. I'm also from Romania. And um, I'm currently working in uh, Brussels, in uh, Belgium, for For Atom, the trade association for uh, nuclear energy in Europe. Hello, everybody. I'm Samia Islam Liba. I'm from Bangladesh. I work in Bangladesh Atomic Energy Commission as a scientific officer. My main responsibility is um, research on uh, nuclear material or any other material. Um, that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, hello to everyone. My name is Bianca Kaucheva. I'm from Bulgaria. Uh, I'm a legal advisor and I work for the company that uh, manages the project for the construction of new nuclear units at our current NPP in Bulgaria. A very bright noon to one and all. I'm Sarabjot Kaur from India. I'm a PhD student at the National Institute of Technology, Environment Monitoring and Assessment Lab. I'm a life member of Nuclear Track Society of India, and it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. I am Aliki van Hey. I'm working at the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, within the Planning and Economic Studies section, and I'm the unit head for 3E analysis there, and 3E stands for Energy, Economics, and Environment. And I'll be giving the two lectures on cost structure and um, energy supply and demand tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Now we will uh, quickly move to the next section is the scope and objectives of this two weeks program. It's most important what we are going to see in the next two weeks. And uh, if you have any questions, we can discuss on that. Uh, So the most important thing is you are all here for the first time. Most of you, I guess, many of you is a new place, far away distance. Some of you have traveled more than 10,000 kilometers from far end of the world. They have, you have come here. You may need some help. Please do not hesitate to ask. Be it technical, be it personal. We are here to help you to the extent possible for you. I am here. I will do my best for you to do whatever possible. And the most important person is... Uh, Dorin Saulik, the school secretary. She, you have not seen her. You must meet her and say thanks to her. She has done a tremendous job in organizing this school in a very good uh, you know, situation. And you are all here with uh, all logistics arrangements done very well. And you, if you need any help, she would be able to do. And Mr. Claudia, who you met today, is the organizer, local organizer here. He can also help you if you need anything. Yeah. Please do not hesitate if you have any issues. The big picture, it's, uh, you know, the big picture is that we want to provide or develop nuclear leadership in the industry. That's the goal of IAE or my, it's my goal is to develop 
nuclear leaders, nuclear leadership. That's why we choose young people, about 40 people we choose, and then we're trying to provide a training which will make them a professional in almost all aspects of nuclear energy. If you see, there are 13 elements taken into consideration for, this, uh, for designing this course, which includes, you know, nu including nuclear law, the safety, the security, uh, the fundamentals of nuclear uh, energy, and many aspects, many other aspects which are relevant for today. So at the end of two weeks, you would become uh, knowledgeable about all these aspects, and you can, uh, you will be, I would not say that you would be suitable for a nuclear leadership position, and it would definitely prepare you for a nuclear leadership position if you, if you, if you collaborate with the second one. The most important thing is the second part, your goal. There are a lot of responsibilities from your side to make sure that you, you, you get all the information that what is told here. And you're going to re receive a plenty of information, information with so many baskets are going to reach you. But how are you going to take all those baskets of information and to enrich yourself into various aspects of nuclear energy? So my, my humble request to all of you is that be interactive. Don't be just listener. Ask many questions. Interact with the staff. The people who are going to teach you have got enormous experience. They're specialists in their field. For example, if somebody is going to teach you emergency preparedness and response, he has spent almost all his life in that particular aspect. So make use of this opportunity to grab as much information as you want from them. This is already known to you. We are 42 participants. Maybe we would be 40. One or two last minute changes would be there, around 40 students from 30 different countries. That's one of the highest number of countries participating. This is a truly an international school. We conduct so many nuclear energy management schools in IAEA. Some of them are regional. They focus on a particular region. But this ICTP and IAEA joint uh, NEM school is very unique because we invite students from all part of the world. We have people from this end, Argentina, Brazil. We also have people from Indonesia, uh, you know, things like that. And another thing is, I forgot, there is a wide spectrum of participants. If you listen to the, the self-introduction given by each one of you, I've seen a nuclear lawyer sitting here. I've also seen a radiological technician, a radiological uh, expert. Also, there are experts in uh, nuclear safety. There are also people who are pursuing uh, research and doctorate in universities in nuclear engineering. There are many, many experts available within yourself. You are all having a different background. That is also contributing to the school. So when we discuss on some aspects, some of you can contribute your, your views and your, your, your comments and your thoughts. That's very valuable for the school. We have totally 30 lecturers in this two weeks program. 13 of them are from IAEA, and seven of them are from external experts. We also hire external experts who have expertise in a particular area. And uh, the important thing is they have decades of experience in a particular area, and that's going to be very useful for the school. The scope of the school, don't get bogged down by looking at the big scope of this. As I, as I told you earlier, we are going to talk about a lot of things in these two weeks, and most all areas of nuclear energy. Just listed down what we are going to discuss here. But you're going to take it in small pieces. So don't worry, at the end of the two weeks, you would be able to accumulate or take away all the information that is taught here in a, in, a, in a useful manner, I'm sure. To start with the afternoon lecture, we will have the most important one, I would say. It's from Mr. Yanko Yano, who was here in the inauguration. The nuclear energy basic principles. There are a set of uh, basic principles which are guiding the nuclear energy industry. So we will have a uh, very enlightening, interactive lecture from Mr. Yanko just after lunch on the nuclear basic principle. Because this is very important. Without having a basic principle of nuclear energy, what we are going to achieve in developing for the future on that. <coughs> there are also the most important thing. The DDG was speaking a lot about innovative uh, reactor technologies, evolutionary reactor technologies, SMRs. And you would, you would be having the expert from IAEA, Mr. Stefano Monti. This afternoon, he will start with the lecture. And he continues to have a few more lectures tomorrow. 
you will be listening a lot about what is happening in the new technologies, what are the new developments, SMRs, and all these things in detail. And this is very important because nothing goes without cost and economics, because nuclear energy has to compete with many energy sources to remain in, in, the, in the top or to sustain in the future. So we have uh, Van Heek from our uh, uh, IAEA. She will be talking about these topics, the economics aspects, the world energy balance, uh, how nuclear is positioned with respect to other energy resources, all that we will talk about tomorrow morning sometime on this. And there is another important uh, topic, which interesting topic is nuclear knowledge management. Knowledge, it's, you know, nuclear industry is a knowledge-driven industry. And this industry is not, uh, uh, is different from other industries in the sense that you just cannot start the industry and run away. It's, it starts and then runs for almost 100 years. If you look at uh, the design, the construction, the commissioning, operations, and then until you decommission, if you look at it, it's going to be almost close to 100 years. Now we are talking about 60 years lifetime of nuclear power plants. So with 100 years of uh, you know people uh, uh, needed for uh, operating safely a, a technology like this, the knowledge needs to be transferred from one generation to another. And the knowledge management in nuclear industry plays a typical role or a very, very important role. And we will talk about it uh, in one session. I would, I would be sharing this, uh, teaching this session to you. Fuel cycle and waste management is another aspect of nuclear energy, very important. Starting from uh, uranium ore to what we do until the decommissioning, how the nuclear, uh, tech, nuclear, nuclear energy de um, uh, fuel cycle is running from front end to the back end. All aspects of uh, fuel cycle we will be discussing, and my colleague from IAEA would be talking about this. This is IAEA support for nuclear power infrastructure development for newcomer countries. This is particularly very important area. IAEA is doing a lot of things for newcomer countries. Uh, starting nuclear power in a, in a country is not going to be that easy because you need to have an infrastructure that supports safe and sustainable development of nuclear energy. So what IAEA is doing? So today morning, Mr. Chidoko was talking about the milestone programs, so milestone one, two, three. So it would be elaborated and discussed in a, in a lecture, uh, a couple of lectures on this topic uh, in this week sometime. Uh, this is another important area. We exclusively uh, devote one full day for nuclear safety. We have an expert, couple of experts coming from IAEA. They would be talking about uh, nuclear safety aspects. Nuclear safety, as you understand, most important aspects. And what are those principles and what, what actions are being taken in IAEA to promote nuclear safety? All that we will listen for a whole full day session on this. Another important area in nuclear energy is the radiation protection, emergency preparedness and response. This is also one full day is exclusively devoted for this uh, topic, considering its importance. We would be listening from experts from Argentina. We have an external expert who would be who is an authority on nuclear radi radiation protection uh, and who would be teaching you about the present day situation about radiation protection, what's going on in the industry with respect to radiation protection. Also, we have Rafael from um, Slovenia and who, can, who will be talking about emergency preparedness and response as well in the afternoon. Nuclear security and IAEA guidance, we have uh, an external expert who would be teaching us. Very important area today, security, because of you know various security threats are emerging, and nuclear security is also uh, very important uh, and uh, reaching a different dimension because of external threats, because of uh, many other factors influenced from outside. Nuclear security takes a different dimension. So what's going on presently and what guidance is available? We would be talking about it on maybe two or three lectures on nuclear security series. Nuclear safeguards, that's about non-proliferation. One of the most important um, um, goals of IAEA is to make sure that there is no proliferation. So to that, what IAEA is doing, what safeguards activities are doing, we have a two-hour lecture from one of the experts from IAEA on safeguards. Research reactors and their use. Research reactors play a very important role in promoting nuclear energy because they are the uh, foundation stone, I would say, for before you launch into a power reactor, the nuclear, the, the research reactor help you to understand the 
the fundamentals more clearly and then uh, uh, and then make make the make the human resources suitable for the next level so how new, how the research reactors help the industry to become a matured industry we have an expert from iaea who can talk about uh, what research reactors are doing what actions are being done in this area it's a very short lecture for about one and a half hour and then another area is we have a lawyer here i'm very happy to see that uh, <laughs> i was looking forward to it we are going to exclusively talk about there are many legal issues associated with the nuclear energy we have experts coming from external experts as well as iaea experts in the nuclear law they would be talking to uh, they would be teaching you about the various legal issues and legal um, uh, you know the mechanisms available to safely and uh, sustainably develop nuclear energy in countries one full day is exclusively ded dedicated for nuclear law we will discuss in detail uh, the last one is about human resources leadership and stakeholder involvement in nuclear energy uh, is very important uh, like morning mr chidako was talking about is this the the human resource development for nuclear energy is a very critical issue it's you, you just cannot develop a nuclear engineer overnight as you know when you want to develop a nuclear engineer who can operate a nuclear power plant in my experience it takes at least about 7 to 8 years the, if you have a very good infrastructure maybe 5 6 years not before that it's not possible to make him licensed to operate a plant so if you develop and if he is leaving the organization it's going to be a very different scenario so how can we develop a nuclear uh, you know competence and nuclear human resources which are uh, which are very very much essential for safe operation of these plants so we'll talk a whole day about this leadership human resources and stakeholder involvement in nuclear energy it's the last day on that and finally we have most important thing again i wanted to repeat you is that it's an opportunity for you to network with not only your colleagues also with all the industry people who are going to talk about all these subjects uh, and then carry forward this relationship for your future goals and future developments so this nuclear energy management school as uh, mr chidoko was telling you in the morning it started in 2010 and mr yanko played a very key role in uh, in uh, in starting this school when he was a iaea staff there and uh, the idea is to develop young nuclear leadership uh, in the industry that's why we select people from different countries we take only people around the age of 30 35 not more than that that's the ideal age to develop nuclear leadership qualities and then provide them with the leadership qualities information so it started in 2010 uh and you can see how the the way it is growing now we are having more more and more demand more people more countries more member states are asking for uh, this nuclear energy management school and we are uh, we are providing them you can see this year we have four schools and next year could be about six or seven schools so, uh, another two three schools are getting added so this is the eighth school in ictp we have methods of instructions mostly it's by lectures by the staff by using powerpoint video videos maybe some video presentations could be there video movies and also interaction with staff and cohorts this is one important thing clp for net uh, my colleague mr nixon who was introducing you he he would he will talk about this in the afternoon you had a most of you had a pre training and then you have passed an exam as part of selection that is a that's a platform clp for net it's a e learning platform of iaea through which we train people so at the end of the uh, the school you will have an exam and that exam would be conducted in this clp for net platform and also many resources which are needed for you to refer to your project works or other materials are all available in the clp for net you will learn more from nixon when you when you hear him at the end of this day another important activity uh, of the school is the group projects uh, the group project is the is the idea is to focus on a particular area uh, by dividing all of you into some groups so that six or seven people focus on a particular theme and then do some little bit deeper research on that particular area we have experts from uh, different areas and the experts will be acting as a mentors and guides to do that research and then so that you have a deeper understanding on a particular area the school gives you a broader idea about 
almost all aspects of nuclear energy, the project allows you to work on a little deeply on a particular area. So make use of these projects. I'll talk about this project at the end of the day because we don't have much time now. We are running short of time. So uh, I'll give you more introduction at the end of the day about projects. And also we have, uh, we recognize that uh, as a nuclear engineer, visiting a nuclear facility is very important for you to understand and appreciate how a nuclear power plant runs, how people behave in a nuclear power plant, how, how you know the security system, the entrance formalities, everything will give you a, a picture of how nuclear industry operates. So we are very fortunate that we could able to get permission to Crisco Nuclear Power Station, which is about 200 kilometers away from here. On uh, next week, Thursday, we would be visiting this, this facility. And uh, this is about the final exam, which I will tell you later. Don't worry too much about it. But just all these questions and things will be coming from what the lecturers are going to talk here and what they are going to reference in these uh, two weeks. And it will be about 50 to 60 questions. And you would be asked to do it in about one and a half hour in the, in the e-learning platform. So we have uh, typically, you know, we wanted to make sure that we give equal weightage to all aspects of learning here uh, about active participation, group projects, and final exam. And totally at the end of the, uh, the school, we would be giving you a certificate uh, for successful completion of this school. Yeah, this is the last slide. This is a very famous one. Tell me, I forget. Teach me, I may remember. Involve me, and I learn. So my humble request to all of you is that don't, don't just be a listener and don't allow us to be only a teacher. Let us involve ourselves and learn the maximum possible here in these next two weeks. So, have some fun. Trieste is a beautiful place. Learn and have some fun. Uh, with this, I will close this morning session and uh, we have just one hour time for lunch. We will meet here again 2 o'clock and start the, the next presentation. Do you have any questions before we just break for lunch? Yeah. Uh, two questions. Yeah. Will we get the presentations later on? Yeah, I will give you the presentation. All of these presentations and the, you know, the video lectures, all of these presentations are video recorded, and they will be uploaded in the ICTP website. It's an open website. You can, you can listen to all these presentations. So, and uh, if you want, the PowerPoints also can be given in a PDF version. No problem. Thank you. See you after lunch. Uh, yeah. I'll leave you this for the group. Okay. If the, if the group